Hey guys, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolf Keenan, and we're back for Dark Souls. Okay guys, last time we played Dark Souls, we just beat uh Seif the Scalist, and now we're gonna be heading off to uh the tomb sorry, the tomb of the giants, which is basically where we're gonna fight Gravelord Nido. So to get to the tomb of the giants, we have to go this way. Now, let me show you something, guys. As you can see, I've got 99 humanity. Basically, I spent my last while um, grinding in the, uh, the 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 dark abyss. Like, you know, the uh, the abyss of... I forgot what it was called, but I went down there to farm the, uh, the 99 humanities. So if I ever need humanity, there I go. I've got plenty now. And if I ever need to farm more, I know where to go. So anyways, guys, we gotta head into the catacombs and then right into the tomb of the giants. I think I forgot to put light spell. Yeah, I did. I had home. I had homeward, so I gotta remember to put the light spell once I get to the next bonfire. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just gonna keep running, so this way I don't have to deal with them. Yeah, it, you know me, guys. I'm trying to like cut off as much time as possible, so um, I'm not gonna try to fight these guys. I'm just gonna keep running, so this way we could try to shave time off the video. Alright, so let me get to the bonfire. Let me uh, get the light spell set up. So this way, you know, I can have that because the Tomb of the Giants is pitch black. There is no way to see in Tomb of the Giants. So uh, you need a, uh, you either need a light source or you need to use the light spell um, sorcery. Now guys, I'm going to show you something. Um, I know what you're about to say. Wait a minute, you're going to have to go through all of this all over again. No, there's actually a shortcut to get all the way down there. You'll get hurt, yes, but if you heal yourself at the proper times, you won't have to worry about it. At least I kill these guys in one hit, so it's not like I have to deal with them. And they barely do anything to me. Alright, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Basically, um, you come over here. You see the little ledge right there? You see like that little thing right there? Drop onto that. Just walk off. And then roll immediately because there's going to be a thing exploding right there. Lucky for me, I waited until he moved away. So there we go. I made it down quick. Now, to get down even further, you just drop from here. And there we go. I'm even further down. If y'all remember, this is where I summoned Paladin Leroy. Now, I just drop down a little bit more because there's bone wheel skeletons right there. Ow. Ow. The skeleton died. Alright, now we better run because we got those bone wheel skeletons right on my ass. And you already know how dangerous those things are. So I'm just running for it. Alright guys, here's where we fought uh, Pinwheel. Here's where we fought Pinwheel. Now we just gotta keep going up. I don't think nothing's chasing me. I don't think anything can follow me this far. At least I hope not. Nah, I don't see anything chasing me. Alright, so once you reach about right here, it gets dark. There's no way you can see where you're going unless you have um, a light source like the Skull Lantern or the Sunlight Maggot. Or if you have the light spell, which is this right here. See, now I can see a little bit better what's in front of me, and I don't have to worry about walking off an edge. This will last for a little while, and this will help me out. Plus, I can still fight. Tomb of the Giants. Here we are. I actually seen this from Franz, a.k.a. a German spy. You can see, like, some bowls here and what looks like a campfire or something like that. So, um, he gave the idea that maybe, you know, there was a campfire here or something like that, like a group of people here. Um, you'll find out a little later what I'm talking about. And there we go. Damn, two shot at that guy. Yeah, there's a lot of items here, but I don't think I'm going to go after them all. At least not on camera. There's just one right there, which I don't think I can make that jump. So I'm just going to head down this way. Come on, come to me. Come to me. Dude, my freaking poise is pretty good. I mean... Normally that would stun me with most of my characters, but I've been able to withstand that But that's because I'm using the wolf ring. I'm using the wolf ring with my armor So it makes sense that I can actually last those attacks 
Woo! I almost fell off the ledge. Like, that was kind of a risky dodge. As you saw, if I went a little bit too much, too fur like, a little bit further, I probably would have fallen off. And that would have been embarrassing. Honestly, that would have been. Well, you can see right here, there goes Patches. But first, before we go see Patches, we're going to, uh, go to this bonfire. Now, I'm not going to kindle it yet. Well, actually, I really should because, um... I'm going to need those extra flasks for what's coming up ahead. And that's being honest. I'm going to need those extra flasks for what's coming up ahead. And then I'm going to have to use the, uh, the humanities to get the, uh, the, the, you know, my, uh, my, hu you know, my humanities back. Because, like I said, guys, my chaos blade, it only does good if I have 10 humanity. Get me? If I don't have 10 humanity, then it doesn't do as good as it could. It can do maximum damage at 10 humanity, which is why the chaos, which is why most of the chaos weapons is so dangerous because if a person has 10 humanity, then um, they will do maximum damage with it. All right, so right here we have patches. What? You again? Well, well. You've been a stranger. Oh, good to see you well, mate. All right. You came at the perfect time. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but we're friends now. I'll split it with you in any case. Have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. I think you all have a good idea what's about to happen here. If you've seen my Demon Souls playthrough, then I think you already know what's about to happen. See? Exactly like Demon Souls. <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse, that's the real treasure. Yeah, fuck you, Patches. <laughs> Just fuck you. Yep, exactly like my Demon Souls playthrough. Anyways, guys, right here you got some items. You got a large soul of a proud knight. You've got the Skull Lantern, which is a light source, and you've got the Large Soul of a Proud Knight again. So, I'm going to keep my light spell while I'm here, so I don't have to equip the Skull Lantern. But, um, if y'all want to see what the Skull Lantern is, it's this. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have it on my, uh, I don't have it on my offhand. You can only use it on your offhand. Otherwise, you're just going to swing it like I was doing back there. But yeah, the Skull Lantern pretty much provides you a light source. Anyways, look who this is. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, and my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? So basically what she's telling you is that her two, uh, you know, companions, Nico and Vance, are hollow now. So you gotta deal with them. They're not too difficult if you know what you're doing. And plus, there's plenty of ways to deal with them. Ow. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, he had too much poise for me to knock down. No, you don't. Yeah, he was trying to heal himself. I mean, they're both clerics, remember that. So they're both, they both know, uh, I think they have great heal excerpt or something like that. I'm not sure, but you get what I mean. Now you can talk to her again. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. So right here you get a replenishment, which basically um, is a heal spell, but it heals you over time. Basically a regeneration spell. Not something I'm going to use, because honestly, I don't care. 
Um, there is a shield coming up which gives you permanent regeneration. And that's going to work pretty good for my build. Because remember, it's a I'm a faith build. Faith dex. Basically, the shield, you need 16 faith to use. And it will give you a permanent uh, regenerating um, ability. Which will come in handy for me because, as you know, every single time I take a hit, I use my katana to hit someone, I take some damage. So having the shield around will help me out with countering that damage. It's going to come in handy, trust me. But the problem is, I'm probably going to have to uh, equip the... Uh, I'm probably going to have to equip the... Uh, damn it, I forgot what it was called. Ow. Alright, right down here, unfortunately, is another ember. There's another ember down here, but there's one problem. All those fucking skeletons. There is a lot of gi gigantic skeletons here. Which is going to be annoying. You know what? Throw caution to the wind, dive in. Geronimo! I see what I mean by there's a lot. But, thanks to my poise, I think I'm good. Ow. Oh, shit. There we go. Got him. Whew. That was a little close. Right here, we've got a soul of a brave warrior. Oh, there's one more. There we go. Now, that's all of them. Oof. That's normally a lot tougher. Right here, we got the large Divine Ember. Basically, what that does, it allows you to upgrade Divine Weapons to plus 10. So, I could go back to Andre if I want to, but there's one problem with that. I need um, White Titanite Chunks and a White Titanite Slab. And unfortunately, I don't have either. The only way to farm White Titanite Chunks and White Titanite Slabs is to fight enemies here in the Tomb of the Giants. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to come back here later if I want to uh, grind to get that stuff. It's a bit of a headache, it is. Trust me. Alright, let's talk to him again. Oh, you. I, well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Now, remember I said yes before. Here you're supposed to say no, and this will open him up as a vendor. Oh, for heaven's sake, let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive. I said I'm sorry. Wait. I know. Here, take this. It proves something, doesn't it? Twin humanities. <laughs> Now, if I've done this correctly, that means that um, I should have patches available at the uh, the bonfire back at Firelink Shrine. So, um, I'm going to go see if that's true. Basically, this is a teleport location. So now, I can just teleport here if I want to continue with Tomb of the Giants. So, let's go back to Firelink Shrine and see if Patches is there. Also, if you remember, what was that girl's name? Astraea, I think her name was? I forgot her name, but the lady that we just saved um, from those two hollows, she should also be in Firelink Shrine. Actually, she should be in um, the... Damn it, where was that again? I kind of forgot. But I'll show you everything. I'll show you. I'll show you. Since we've got a little bit of time left. Alright, so Patches should be over here. Unless you're supposed to beat Tomb of the Giants and then he becomes a vendor. Yeah, I think you have to beat Tomb of the Giants and then he becomes a vendor. So what about this girl? Now, this girl you can find in the Undead Chapel, but like I said, I don't know if you're supposed to be Tomb of the Giants first before they become available. If they're not available now, then, oh well, I'll have to be Tomb of the Giants for them to both become available. But, um, basically, the reason why you want Patches as a vendor is because he sells the Canvas Talisman. If you did not start as a Cleric, as your, you know, as the starting build, there's no other way to, ca to get the Canvas Talisman. And the canvas talisman is the best talisman in the entire game. At least for a faith build. Question is, is she there? Yes, she is. She sells you some of the best faith spells in this game. So I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy a few. I'm gonna use these souls real quick. So this way I can uh, stock up on 
you know, the spells so I can get more so I can get as many of the spells as I can because what happens is that after a little while she'll actually end up dead or she'll end up hollow, which you're going to have to be aware of. That's why if you're going to do something, do it now. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted for it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea. Of Rhea, Rhea, that was her name. Sorry, I was I thinking of someone else. There was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. So basically, she could teach you miracle spells, and trust me, they I are very good. Any help to you. I would be most pleased if that was so. May we discuss miracles then? Also, you can learn the pro you can learn prayer here, so there you go. So look, she sells a divine blessing. I don't know how many uses, but look at this. She sells Wrath of G of the Gods, which is one of the best uh, force spells in the game. Only three uses, but it's definitely worth it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy everything. I'm going to buy uh, I'm gonna buy heal, great heal excerpt, homework force, great heal. Wrath of God, Seek Guidance, Magic Barrier. You can also buy a Talisman from her, but it's not necessary. And you can only buy one Divine Blessing from her. So I've pretty much bought everything I could. Let's talk to her. Vince and Nico were fooled by a lout named Hatches and turned into hollows. My prayers did them no good. It is my ignorance, my frailty that has sealed their fates. Perhaps Petrus realized my weakness all along. And thus made the decision to abandon me. I can hardly blame him now. Alright, so we already know this. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Next time when I start, I will be in the Tomb of the Giants again. So until next time, I'm Keenan47, aka Wolfkeen, and I will see you all for the next part. So until next time, bye everybody.